The latest WikiLeaks dump features CIA Director John Brennan's address, passport number, his wife's social security number, address, phone number, the addresses of his family and in-laws, too. This is heroic stuff, Wiki. Bravo. Now terrorists know where someone's granny lives. So who still admires this stuff? The same people who booed the hacking of Sony or their starlets? It's that old hypocrisy. The Hollywood left thinks subversion is cool, unless, of course, they're the target. Meanwhile, the media also loves this. Such treasonous appreciation comes from an idiotic view of national security, that the CIA is the real evil, and that America has no right to protect itself from those who wish to destroy it, because, after all, we are evil. With that mentality, the end justifies the means. So why not expose a man's most private information? But making the CIA vulnerable puts all of us at risk. So perhaps it's time now to redefine what an enemy combatant is in the cyber age. Because WikiLeaks doesn't do this to corrupt countries or jihadists, it's as if they're waging cyber warfare only on us. How odd that those who claim to champion rights to privacy now cheer those who assault it. Perhaps it's time to hack the hackers and the hackers' backers. So how do we do that? Where well, our leaders and journalists must admit that cyber attacks are indeed attacks, not expressions of freedom. The attack on Brennan was an attack on us. And it wasn't China who did it, but the heroes of modern media made their social security numbers run wild. So, Eric, did WikiLeaks <laughs> finally... Did Wait, this is the first time you started with me in two years. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Right, right. That's a, did WikiLeaks... They damaged their brand. Like, like, didn't they, they, they were supposed to be all about surveillance, and now they're just like... This stuff is, like, ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. This is pretty, pretty nasty stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, family members, friends, phone numbers, yeah. and, and addresses... What's the point? I mean, yeah. look, if you want to expose something that you think is going on that's wrong, that's fantastic. I get that. I understand it. But personal information, yeah. that, w w what's the upside to that? Yeah, no, it's nothing. Kimberly, it's like... No, there's nothing redeeming or heroic about it. They're just criminals. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no purpose to what they're doing whatsoever. Why are you putting someone's social security number and his family's information? I mean, wow, you, you're, you guys are big time. Amazing. Good job. But there's, Dana, they're still seen as heroic among people who write for the Huffington Post. But I think that they might be, you know, the, the shine is off the apple. I think mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think that there's much there's not much here. And when they sit back and think about it for half a second, the next time WikiLeaks says that they have something, it might not be as enticing. So it's like the little boy that cried wolf. Mm, interesting. There might not be a wolf. I, yes, that's true. Just be like a little kid. But there is a wand. And where there's a wand, there's always there's a, way. a way. Well, you know what is interesting to me about this story mm -hmm. is that so if supposedly it's a 13 year old boy. Yeah. Right? And he's just like. A juvenile, because this act is so adolescent, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what I think we're all saying. This is, there's no point. There's no way you could say, oh, yeah, this reveals, as Eric was saying, something about Americans' security or, or invasion of our security. Too. Well, but I, I think it's wrong. But remember, even Republicans voted to do away with the Patriot in the aftermath of Edward Snowden. Now we have a situation where, with this kid, he's just being malicious, and he says he's in support of the Palestinians or something, doesn't like American foreign policy. But I think he's just being a numbskull, especially the guy's wife. Why would you do that? Yeah, and and what, what, what value does it have? Nothing. Nothing at all. I just Terrible. Don't see it. Yeah. Awful. Terror. Yeah, it is. It's an attack. It's but, an attack. But a 13-year-old did it. And do we How know did he's, he do if he's it? American, the 13-year-old? I, I don't know. I should have read the story. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, too. I was riveted yes, by uh, the hearings.